If you are new to my channel, tap that subscribe button so that you won't miss out on any of my new uploads. And if you have already subscribed, what's good, what's poppin', welcome back to my channel. The items that you're going to need today is a crochet wig cap, the headband of your choice, and I got this headband from my local beauty supply store, a crochet needle of course, some T-pins to hold your cap and your band onto your mannequin, a needle and thread, and a pair of scissors. The hair that I'll be using today is the Ultra Twisted Up Springy Afro Twist, and I got it in the length 24 inches. Now, I did go ahead and purchase six packs of this hair, but I will tell you, you do not need all six packs. I literally only used two packs and maybe a little bit out of the third pack and that was it now the first thing I'm going to do is apply my crochet wig cap to my mannequin head now if you guys do want to know the details of this mannequin head I will leave that in the description box below so that you guys can check that out now I'm gonna apply my headband and when I apply my headband I make sure that I flip it inside out so that the seam will be on the inside of the wig once I'm done sewing it down now I'm just taking some T-pins to secure the headband onto the mannequin so that it won't move while I'm sewing. Now I went ahead and separated three packs of hair on my braiding rack and the reason why I did this is just so that I can move faster while I'm trying to install each one of these strands onto this cap. Now I'm going to begin sewing the headband onto the edges of the wig cap. Now when I'm sewing my headband on, I like to sew one side at a time because I want to make sure that I'm sewing the headband evenly on both sides of this wig cap so that there's no lopsidedness and it doesn't feel off. So that's why I like to sew one side at a time. So I wanted to let you guys know that the huge project that I was working on this past week was the launch of my new eyelash collection which is huge. It consists of 21 different eyelash styles and they range from 18 millimeters all the way up to 25 millimeters. Now the reason why I chose such a big selection is because I wanted to make sure that I had a lash style for everyone. I have natural lashes, I have dramatic lashes, and I even have lashes for those who like the in-between. Not too long, not too short, but add a little flair to your, to your style, you know? You guys can shop my website, pressbymissuniquebeauty.com, and I do have a discount code for you guys because you guys are my loyal ones, and my discount code is missuniquebeauty25. I will leave all of this information in the description box below so that you guys can go ahead and check it out. This is what the headband is looking like once I went ahead and flipped it up over the cap. And as you guys can see, it is laying so flush and so smooth onto this wig cap. Right here, I'm just showing you guys what the ends of this hair look like. And I love these little coils that each strand have at the end. And to me, it gives me a natural feel. And I love any kind of hair that just looks natural and mimics my natural hair. For most of this wig, I decided not to split this hair in half because I wanted this hair to be full and I realized that once I split the hair in half, that little coil that I liked at the end just wasn't there anymore. So I did not go ahead and split this hair at all. I just went ahead and crocheted each strand in just the way it is, just the way it came right out of the pack. 
Now, as you guys know that when I like to crochet my hair, I like to do the staggering method because that gives you the most coverage when it comes to installing any kind of crochet hair onto any of your wig caps. So for this next row, as you guys can see, I will show you, I will be crocheting this strand in between the two strands I crocheted in the first row and I'll be doing this all the way throughout the entire cap just to conceal and cover up any gaps that might be in this cap. Now because the strands of this hair and this hair overall is a big voluminous type of hair you do not want to put these strands too close to each other because your hair will be huge so as you guys can see literally each row in the back section only has three strands in each row because of how much coverage you're already getting by just installing one strand now just keep that in mind when you guys are using this hair for your wigs just by staggering this hair alone you'll have the most amazing coverage and you will not need to add any extra hair into this wig this is what this back section is looking like once i went ahead and completed it now i'm going to go ahead and just speed through and show you guys exactly how i completed this side section and it's very easy as well so i start off with going with four strands along the edge of the cap on the side and then I went ahead and filled in the middle I think with about four or five strands literally that's all you guys need for this section because like I said this hair is huge already and you already are getting all of that coverage just by adding one strand this is what this wig is looking like now I'm going to go ahead and fill in the next side and I'll be back to show you guys exactly how I do the front section now for the very front section of this wig, I did go ahead and split one strand into two only because when you flip the band over the front section, you want the band to look flat and lay flush in the front. So I didn't want the big chunky knot to be seen through the headband. So that's why I went ahead and split it into two only for this first row in the front section just take note that if you guys do decide to split this hair and create a wig with the hair split throughout the entire wig the ringlet that gives you that natural look on the end of this hair will not be there anymore and the hair will kind of give you more of like a frizzy kind of a feel but if you like that then you can definitely go ahead and do that but I didn't want to do that for this wig because I really love the little ringlet curls on the ends of this hair this is what the wig is looking like once I went ahead and completed crocheting this entire wig. Now I'm just showing you guys what this wig will look like once you flip up the edges of the headband over the edges of this wig. And as you guys can see, by using the wider wet headband, you get a lot more coverage around the edges of your headband wig. So if you guys can get your hands on a headband or headbands with the wider band, I feel like to me that's a better option when making your headband wigs. Now if you do not have a wide headband, you can also go ahead and purchase those cute little headbands that people are wearing from Amazon. I did purchase a few myself to wear with some of my headband wigs and I will if you guys want leave the link down below so that you guys can go ahead and check those out as well. I decided to go ahead and style this wig with two top knot buns. Now I really love this hair. I love the little ringlet curls on the end of the hair. That's my favorite thing about this hair. And this hair is definitely huge. It's definitely voluminous. And this hair is just amazing hair if you want some kinky hair for an affordable price. Now I'm going to get up close and personal so that you guys can see the amazing coverage that this hair gives you in this wig. In this video, I was able to show you guys an affordable way of making a kinky curly headband wig using the Altre Twisted Up Springy Alpha Twist hair to create this wig. 
I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below any questions that you may have. Like this video and don't forget to subscribe. Bye my beauties! Bye.